Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you four tips on how to rewrite your novel. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you the differences between rewriting, revising, and redrafting a novel. So if that sounds good to you, then stick around. Before we jump into today's video, I did want to mention that my course, Get Unstuck and Start Believing in Yourself, is open for enrollment. This course is all about getting down to the nitty gritty of the reason why you may not be accomplishing your goals. It's the start of the year and I know that you're probably looking forward to a new year and true, true changes. If this is you, then this course is perfect for you. In this course, you will learn the foundations needed to make true changes. I show you why you probably haven't been able to make the changes that you desire. I walk you through the importance of habits and focus and mindset. So if you want this year to be different, if you are looking forward to a brand new you, then take a chance, enroll in the course. It is open now, head on over to my website. I will leave that link in the description box below if you guys are interested in signing up. So let's jump into today's video. Before we jump into the tips, let's clarify what I mean by rewrite and why it's not a revision or a redrafting. Okay, so a revision is taking what you already have and making it better. Maybe you're just focusing a little bit on sentence flow and just making little minor changes, but you're not making huge changes to your novel. A rewrite, which is what I'm doing, is making a bigger change and working like you're reworking the scenes you're doing away with scenes you're changing uh, maybe your conflicts and motivations and um you you love the story but you know that it needs work so that's a rewrite and redrafting is basically you're starting from scratch so means you're changing everything so here we go. Tip number one is to make sure that the reason you're rewriting this novel is a legit reason. That you're not just rewriting it because you're bored with the story or you have a new plot idea. If you have a new plot idea, then save it for another book. That is not a reason to rewrite your current book. Tip number two is remember that this is a rewrite and not a start from scratch project. Keep as much as possible, but don't be afraid to cut what doesn't work. I've been working on my novel for some time now and I know what it takes, you know, I know what's working and what is not. So I'm very comfortable with cutting scenes that I know are not going to serve the novel. As you guys know, this is my uh, book companion journal that I just released in November. I did not have this available to me, this companion journal, when I first wrote Between Us because I started writing Between Us, I sort of got like, I think four or five years ago. So obviously I didn't have this at my disposal. So I started utilizing it again um, in the second rewrite. So. I'm starting from scratch, but I wanted to show you guys how I use um, the novel. I don't use it all in one, not the novel, the companion. I don't use it all in one sitting. Sometimes when I'm writing or when before I write or after I write or if I need a break, I go to the companion and I write down some things that are on my mind, some things like right now I'm writing things down about the second draft that are coming to mind. And I know that in the end, I'm going to love this companion when I have the published book in my hand of Between Us and I know all the struggles that I went through to get this novel to perfection in my eyes. And I'm just gonna love to be able to go back to this and have it in my hands. So basically what I'm doing here is just writing um, little notes about um, the rewrite process because I think it will serve me in the future. Now I'm moving on to the page creating triggers. Um, I love this because um, as you know, <laughs> we're not always motivated. So if I set triggers for myself that uh, will motivate me to start writing or to get you know this editing finished, I know that I will be more successful in the end. So basically some of the prompts here are what books inspire me to write. I wrote down anything from Nicholas Sparks or Emily Giffen and more specifically I just wrote fiction, rom romance, and chiclet uh, novels. 
the next question is what authors inspire me to write and I did write Nicholas Sparks and Emily Given because I love them and um, then the final question in this section is what movies inspire me to write I wrote the choice safe Haven and something borrowed so these are just little triggers that I use that you know if one day I know that I need to edit and I need to finish a novel but I'm just not feeling motivated I can always return to my companion look at the triggers and maybe sit down for an hour and a half or two hours and watch one of these movies and before I'll know it I'm motivated and I'm up and writing again this next page another prompt question is one song that sets the mood for my novel is and for me is what if by Megan Trainer. another question is the one thing that inspires me to write is obviously music because I love it and my character ward and the next section where you see all these colorful boxes the question is these people inspire me to write and this is where I will write some of the authors that really inspire me and make me happy and just I don't know inspire me to write so I have Emily Giffen, Nicholas Sparks, Sophie Kinsella, Jennifer Warner, Elizabeth Gilbert and Lyanne Morty. The next section that I wanted to show you guys is the preparing for mindful writing. I had filled out some of the things before, but there were some things that I left uh, blank. For example, this one prompt question that said, the one thing I love about my writing style is, and at first I was struggling with it, so I left it blank. So now I came back to it and I wrote that I don't fluff things up, that I say what I need to say without extra language. The next page I left a space here to write two of my favorite quotes and I wrote she believed she could so she did and the next one is forever is composed of nows so yeah you guys this is just a little glimpse into my book companion journal if you guys want to get your copy the link to purchase it on Amazon is in the description box below I love this journal so much and I think if you're a writer and you're in the middle of writing a book I think this journal will definitely serve you it will lift you up when you need to be reminded of why you love this book why you love writing it reminds you of your good qualities it's just there's so much in here that I think you guys can benefit from so let's hop back into the tips the third tip if you're planning on rewriting is to outline 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 I believe if I had outlined before starting to write this novel I wouldn't be where I'm at right now to be fair I kind of outlined but I did not outline based on save the cat because I was not aware of save the cat so um, I obviously I couldn't do what I don't know but after knowing about save the cat and the beats that is where my struggle came as far as when I was reading I knew there were certain things missing so I had to go back in and outline based on the save the cat method and my final tip is to make sure that you read the book from start to finish and identify all the problems and make sure that you actually do need to rewrite the novel before you start doing it maybe it just needs a little revision instead of a whole rewrite all right, you guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and that you share it with all your writerly friends. If you are not subscribed yet, I'd appreciate it if you did it on your way out and make sure you hit the little bell to get notified of when I upload next. That is it, you guys. Until next time, stay safe.